A new way to get around St. Pete could move forward today. City leaders will discuss bringing in e-scooters. Yeah, but there's already problems with this idea to bring these scooters here to Tampa. Our Jasmine Stiles joins us live now from City Hall with the warnings. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning, India and James. Like most Bluetooth technology, e-scooters can be hacked. Research shows that there is a loophole in bird and lime scooters that allows hackers to suddenly speed them up or slow them down. There's also a CDC report uh, showing a spike in EMS calls and injuries out in Texas, and they want to uh, put out some safety recommendations for riders. Back in October, Mayor Rick Christman tweeted out a picture taking a lime scooter for a speed been, but added that implementation would take a while. He could be trying to avoid what's happening across the bay. Back in December, we told you that Tampa would roll out Lime scooters, but after some bidding and permitting issues, you won't be able to ride until April 1st, and we still don't even know what brand they'd be using. A lot they have to work on, but of course, we're going to keep you updated on that decision. And coming up at 630, the other issue on the agenda that could help businesses struggling to pay their rising rents. We're live in St. Pete. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.